Um, Barrister Jyotirmoy Borua is one of the prominent advocates in the Bangladesh Supreme Court, working tirelessly to protect environmental and human rights, especially the right to speech and the right to land. He has been working as the convener of lawyers for energy and ecological rights, and also the convener of life and nature safeguard platform, LNSP Bangladesh, which is our co-host today for the Indo-Bangla Energy Dialogue. Jyotir Maida. Thank you, Vidya. Thank you um, to the panelists, uh, especially to the Paranjay Guhutakurtada, Sridhar Kamamurtida, Shomoda, Mahamidja, Tony Noshin, and Sajjadha Sintuhin. It was an excellent discussion and uh, very enlightening. Um, and um, if I just uh, sum up very quickly in a few lines, Paranjit uh, Gohatakurada enlightened us about the condition, financial status of uh, its reliance group and what we are dealing with basically. And um, and Sridhar Ramamurti that obviously took us to the uh, Goda project and uh, given us all the details. And I see many similarities. He talked about the Santal Pargana land preservation law, which is um, which is in our um, legal system. We have the same sort of protection for the Adibasi land that they cannot in alienate or transfer their land to any other community other than their own Adibasi community. But um, these um, investors and the government uh, in both the countries, they know how to avoid these laws and they make their new tools to avoid these laws. And I think the same thing is happening in Jharkhand for the project. And um, if I come to Shomoda, Shomoda gave us really an excellent insight, which we have been uh, saying uh, from different perspectives in our Bangladesh as well, that we cannot create another Sundarban. Shundarban cannot be compared with any energy at all. I, I seriously, seriously go with Shamuda on this particular point. And uh, if I come back to Maha, Maha gave us a really, really tremendously clear picture of the energy situation in Bangladesh. If I, um, if I visualize what uh, Maha said, is that in, in the next couple of years, probably we will be drinking energy, we will be eating energy, we doing everything with the energy because we already have surplus of 50% energy we don't use. Basically, we are wasting this. And no um, government officials or any authority has to answer this. This is, the, this is another thing we are seeing that no one questions their uh, uh, actions of wasting this much, much of public money. This is the same thing happening probably in, uh, in your side of India. Um, they are wasting our resources, they are wasting our energy in the name of uh, this energy. They are giving permission to new coal based power plants again and again, 29 coal power plants already on the pipeline. So uh, there is no accountability at all. And when we raise these questions in, in most of the uh, cases, especially in Rampal, India is responsible for uh, implementing Rampal. So um, if you consider the slogans that this national committee had, go back NTPC, go back India. This gives a wrong um, perspective as well. This, this gives a wrong perspective in the sense that the people of Bangladesh probably agitated against India. No, this is not the case. I would like to make this point very clear. The member secretary of the National Committee, Professor Anna Muhammad said, and he says this to um, repeat this in, in his almost every um, energy talk, um, that Hesitating against India does not necessarily mean that we are hesitating against the whole state. We are hesitating against the decision makers, against the present government who are taking all these uh, wrong decisions, who are causing this trouble to us. But we need to collaborate more and more with our activists, our friends from both the countries to stop this project. And uh, if I use the term, all these uh, panelists and other um, honorable guests who spoke from their own experiences are the activists, but whom we are talking against, the climate terrorists. So we need to collaborate more against this climate terrorists, basically, and all these corruptions and this um, uh, local resources transferring, shifting to the banks and other um, gra grabbers, uh, national and international grabbers. 
we need to work together we need to collaborate together so i'm not going to take too long um, i'm just going to give you three specific um, the, um, announcement one is um, i have already uh, pointed out that we need more collaboration and this collaboration we would like to extend not only with india uh, to china japan netherlands and who uh, whoever countries um, are investing in our country on energy um, projects and we are planning to hold several other webinars in association with our activist friends uh, and from those countries to bring uh, all these issues up um, all together and we strongly uh, strongly urge you um, to stay with us to be with us help us in this journey and we should work together on this and the second announcement is um, from the working group uh, we have um, already started uh, an initiative for listen to bangladesh which uh, probably um, the shoras uh, shoras the probably would be more interested in uh, this is a uh, this is a project this is the plan we are uh, um, uh, starting now to listen from the affected people to share their experience in uh, in a greater audience um there is a poll going on now um, wherein we are requesting our friends to vote for the most important projects to bring about uh, for discussion um, by the affected pe people you may find the links in the uh, chat box and uh, please cast your vote and let us know your opinion of which particular project you want us to uh, bring about uh, uh, at the moment and uh, the third announcement is um, we would like to take on the project separately to focus on the investors and companies directly to assess their contribution to the destruction of the environment we will come together again to protest um, adani goda coal power plant project for the destruction and pollution of environment in india in the name of producing electricity in bangladesh we have, uh, i i uh, so far i, I remember um, uh, shomoda uh, raised this question whether with the big question we need first whether we need this um, adani goda um, coal power plant um, uh, to produce electricity for bangladesh or not while maha said if i just collaborate with this these two uh, compare these two statement well maha said 50% of the energy are wasted now so why would um, adani have to um, set up another coal power plant in um, goda in jharkhan to produce electricity for bangladesh this is absolutely ridiculous this is completely ridiculous and i don't see and from from the activities activist perspective from bangladesh we don't see any any uh, uh, prospect on this project at all so we don't need it and uh, uh, one thing uh, on the solution uh, bit i would like to add is um, if you check in the chat box i have shared our lnsp website um, on 30th of november last year we um, held one uh, public hearing for destruction of environment and on uh, human rights and displacement um, probably again chorus would be very much interested to uh, watch our videos we have uploaded those videos on that link um, we tried in a very unique way to present all the victims of this so called development uh, projects and uh, they said their their, their bits and there were judges it was like a, a real courtroom type uh, scenario there was no script nothing people were talking from their own experience uh, one lawyer i played the uh, prosecution's uh, prosecution team head of the prosecution team in in our uh, public hearing so we we just facilitated them to talk um, from their own experience and they um, put their allegations against uh, against uh, investors uh, lo both local and international investors um, we issued even like a real court scenario we issued notices to appear in this public hearing to the investors um, the both local and national and and other government bodies who are responsible to oversee these uh, environmental issues but none of them appeared and but we sum up their statements which we could find from the um, media and uh, one of our uh, prosecution team presented their version of the story in the hearing and at the end there was a panel of judges they delivered so their you, know, you have so, 30 30 seconds yes so this, this is the last bit so uh, i think this is another idea uh, i could share with you uh, you may try this in in different uh, projects in different areas of india as well so i thank you all again and it was really really enlightening
and uh, we'll learn quite a lot from all the panelists. And thank you, thank you, and hope to see you again.